Legislative Resolution Number 4835 by Senator Galvan, recognizing the commitment and sacrifices of New York State's corrections officers in conjunction with the observance of National Correction Officers and Employees Week 2014. Senator Galavan on the resolution. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I rise to recognize and honor the 18, over 18,000 sworn uh, members of NYSCOBA that work in the correctional facilities across the state, the 20 plus thousand active sworn and non-sworn corrections employees, and those that have retired that make up 27,000 members of NYSCOPA for the work that they do. In 1984, 20 years ago yesterday, former President Ronald Reagan signed a proclamation declaring the first full week in May is National Correction Officers Week in honor of correction officers who put their lives on the line every day to protect the public from dangerous criminals and help prisoners work towards becoming productive members of society. Uh, it's very appropriate that we recognize our state's correction officers, the contributions that they make every day to protect their citizens from harm, and for the work that they do to keep our communities safe. Their job is very demanding. They're responsible for many, many things, including the care, custody, maintenance of the incarcerated, of the facilities. It is, it is so fitting for us to recognize them today. And when we look at our, correctionist, our corrections system across the state, we know that many of the correctional facilities are located in rural areas across the state. There's a tremendous amount of history in many of these facilities. One of those facilities is the Attica Correctional Facility. Maximum Security Supermax Prison, located in Attica, New York, constructed in the 1930s. Our honor guard today was from Attica, Attica Corrections Color Guard. The team's made up of 15 officers, two sergeants, two lieutenants, who are part of the Attica Correction, Correctional Emergency Response Team, or CERT team. These members give up their own time and volunteer for the duties on the color guard. They are available for funerals, they do community events, they represent New York State nationally with the Correctional Peace Officers Foundation, which is a national organization that takes care of officers, families of officers rather, who die in the line of duty or are seriously assaulted. They've hosted a national convention, they have traveled across the country, and they have proudly represented New York State and the correction officers in New York State. They have been doing this since 1972. So to NYSCOPA President Don Rowe, who is with us, to the members of the Attica Color Guard, to members of some of the other facilities that I met, met with earlier today, from Wyoming, Wendy, Collins, Gowanda, Lakeview, and Willard, and all the men and women who help keep our prisons and our communities safe, I thank you for the job you do. Thank you, Senator Gallivan. Senator Carlucci. Thank you, Mr. President. And I want to thank Senator Gallivan for sponsoring this important resolution. Um, as was said, our correctional officers do so much good work uh, for New York State. Uh, they walk the hardest beat in New York, and that, that recognition goes unnoticed. Because correctional officers are uh, in our prisons, making sure they're keeping our, our prisons safe and our community safe. Um, but the hard work that they do uh, goes unnoticed because we don't see them in the community. So that's why it's so fitting that we on this floor uh, recognize the hard work, the dedication that they put forward in making sure they keep our community safe. Um, and I have the distinct privilege, I represent uh, the officers at Sing Sing Prison and have gotten to know them and the hard work that they do uh, to make sure that when uh, someone comes into Sing Sing uh, that they get the attention that they deserve, that they need, uh, so that they can be uh, eventually released and, and made active partners in society. So really I want to thank uh, the Attica Prison Color Guard that's here today, uh, Don Rowe who's uh, in our, our audience today, uh, thank them for the hard work that they do and, and that we recognize and pay tribute uh, to the hard work that correctional officers do here in New York State and around the nation. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Carlucci. Senator Little. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to join my colleagues as we recognize uh, correction officers uh, throughout the nation, but particularly correction officers in New York State. And I would like to add, I have many correction officers in my district. When I uh, first came to the Senate in 2002, I represented 12 facilities and one federal facility. We're down with the reduction in inmates, we're down to nine facilities and one federal facility. So I have a lot of experience with the correction officers and the challenges that they have in the work that they do. We all talk about how living in our neighborhoods, we all want to live in a safe neighborhood. These men and women actually work in a neighborhood that is not always safe, and we have to work hard to see that that neighborhood remains safe and when there are problems, to correct those problems. The, uh, the other thing I want to recognize our correction officers for is for the tremendous involvement they have in the community and working with many of them are volunteer firemen, they work as little league coaches, they work in the schools and volunteer in their churches, so many places. So they are valuable members of our community and I truly appreciate the work that they've done. We talk about the high recidivism rates and how to reduce that. I think that our correction officers have a lot to do with the way the inmates leave the correctional facilities and I credit them for some of the uh, people who do not come back to the facility again. So thank you very much. Marcione. Senator Marchione. I also want to thank Senator Gallivan for bringing this resolution forward and to thank our correction officers for all that they do. And, and, and truly, what I was also going to say, similar to Senator Little, is the presence that you had in our community. I know about wood programs that you've done. There are people in our community that can't afford to heat their homes. In the prison, in the guards within uh, the Mount McGregor facility, they, they cut wood for 88 families to keep those families warm. Adopt a soldier program in our area sends hundreds, if not thousands, of packages to overseas military. And these folks are the ones that go in to adopt a soldier packed the bags and had, had such a presence. So thank you for what you do within the prisons. It is so very appreciated. And thank you for what you've done outside of the prisons and in our community. That is, does not go unrecognized where I come from. So thank you so very much. Senator Farley. Yes, I'm just going to rise uh, briefly to say that uh, Having had Mount McGregor in my district for a number of years, this was a facility that was absolutely beloved by the community because of what the, uh, uh, the program that they had of service to the community. But I, I just want to rise to say thank you to these correction uh, people that really have one of the most difficult jobs in our state and do it uh, for us to keep us safe and risk their lives every day that they go in there. Uh, Don Rowe, who's a, a, a constituent of mine, does a great job representing you here, and uh, it is with my pleasure that I thank you for your service. Senator Bonasek. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, not to be repetitive, but uh, one of the things uh, that um, I got to know better about the job of correction officers. I want to say I don't think they get the respect and enough of the thank yous of the job they do. In that profession, there's tremendous stress mentally and physically because they are in the prison like a prisoner when they take care of the prisoners. I happen to have six facilities in my Senate district. I used to have eight, but the terrible toll it takes on them, uh, seeing the dark side of human nature and always being in the prison. Yes, they get to leave, they get to go home, but that stress is probably greater than police officers and firefighters, and that's why their life expectancy is shorter 
than that of a police officer or a firefighter uh, in the course of their lives. So on behalf of all of our colleagues, we thank you for the job that you do every day, even though we might not say thank you every day. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Nazolio. Mr. President. Mr. President, my colleagues, for uh, close to 15 years, I served as chairman of the Crime Victims, Crime and Corrections Committee, the position that Senator Gallivan now holds. And as such, uh, got to learn about the tremendous work done across our state's correctional system by the brave men and women who each and every day risk their lives to keep us safe and secure. Mr. President, uh, my colleagues, uh, I've said this once, I've said it many times on this floor, that those correction officers from the state of New York, the highest of quality, the highest of caliber, and they walk the toughest law enforcement beat in America. They are the custodians of individuals who, in effect, have already broken the law, in many cases are extremely violent, and they uh, stand each and every day uh, protecting us and keeping our streets safe uh, by also keeping our correctional facilities secure. Uh, our hearts are out to our COs, well stated by all of our colleagues today who spoke on their behalves. Uh, they uh, do great service uh, for the people of this state. And I want them to know that the people of this state, the people of the great state of New York, are extremely grateful to them uh, for their uh, support, their efforts, their hard work, and their courage. Because each and every day, uh, they act courageously by simply going to work. Uh, Mr. President, uh, it's a fitting tribute uh, to them. Uh, later, uh, we will be celebrating, in effect, the Correction Officers Memorial, uh, one that uh, Don Rowe, uh, as president of NYSCOBA, uh, worked very hard uh, with us in the Senate uh, to achieve uh, that recognition, recognition long overdue, uh, but recognition deserved uh, because they do as I indicated, walk the toughest law enforcement beat in America. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Nazolio. The question is on the resolution. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The resolution is adopted. We want to welcome the members of the correctional officers who are in attendance today. We thank you for your work and thank you for your service.